New tonight and only on Fox, Bark and HPD are dealing with two horrific cases of animal cruelty in as many days. Fox 26 is Randy Wallace is joining us now live from Bark with the exclusive. Yeah, Anthony, now right now it appears that both dogs will survive. One dog was shot, the other had a collar embedded into his neck. <laughs> this pup's name is Leah. She was found by Bark on Thursday in the 6300 block of Winfield. They got a call regarding a injured uh, puppy, and it um, was loose in an area. They immediately went out. When our medical team was doing the assessment, they did x-rays and actually found out it had a bullet wound, and we found the actual casing embedded in the dog's shoulder. I just couldn't say no to her. Stephanie Collins and her I Care More For You Rescue is fostering Leah. She has a lot of skin issues. Right now she's not a candidate for surgery until she gains some weight um, and her skin clears up and the infection has gone. On Friday, Bark picked up this dog in the 6500 block of West Montgomery Road. The dog was scared, and which is understandable. This poor pup had a collar embedded into his neck. Both of these animal abuse cases are now under investigation by HPD's Major Offenders Animal Cruelty Division. We are in the very early stages of the investigation right now. Unfortunately, we do not have any suspects. Both situations came to light on social media. Social media, we hear of things that way, but it's important that they report things directly to us, either via phone, email address, call a patrol unit. I think it's a perfect example of the importance of reporting when you do see something like that. Bark getting to these dogs quickly is why they are both likely to survive. It's not always the reality we see with these cruelty cases. You know, 14 days, she'll probably look, you know, like totally different. She's definitely gonna put on some weight pretty quickly now that, you know, she'll be getting proper nutrition. Now, if you want to save a life, come here to Bark and adopt, foster, or volunteer. If you'd like to help Leah, we've got a link on our website. Reporting live from Bark, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.